Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going back to the basics and I'm going to show you how to apply the new Cricut Premium Permanent Vinyl to a Tumbler. This is a super easy project but I had a request to show how to do it so let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to do is set up your design in Design Space. I have set up my name. Once you have it set up you're going to click make it. You do not mirror it. You're going to choose your machine and then you're going to choose vinyl and go ahead and cut that out on your Cricut Explorer or your Cricut Maker. I am using the new Cricut Permanent Vinyl and I'm also using the Cricut Transfer Tape which is also new. Next I'm going to cut a piece of vinyl using the new Cricut Ruler on the self-healing mat and along with my True Control knife blade. This is my favorite way to cut the vinyl. It's super easy. I love this ruler. It holds the vinyl down perfectly. It has a little bit of rubber on the back of it so that the ruler doesn't move. Once I've cut my design out, I'm going to trim it down just a little bit further and save that other piece of vinyl for another project. Next, we're going to prepare our vinyl for weeding by using the Cricut scraper and just burnishing it on both the front and the back to make sure it is adhered to the backing paper. Now we're going to weed it. Weeding is removing the excess vinyl around your design. So in this case, I've cut my name and I am removing all of the extra vinyl that is around my name, including the middle of the L, the O, and the middle of any of your letters, the E as well. So once you have all of your negative spaces removed, you're going to cut a piece of your Cricut transfer tape similar to the same size as your image. And again, I like to use the Cricut ruler and the True Control knife blade to cut my transfer tape. So I'm just going to cut this so that it is approximately the same size as my image. Now you can cut this bigger or smaller if you want, whatever works for you. But keep in mind that you can reuse this transfer tape over and over and over. So once you have your transfer tape cut to size, you're going to peel the paper backing from the sticky side, the clear sticky side. So I find it easier to remove the paper backing than to lift it from the front. So you're just going to peel those apart. And this Cricut transfer tape has the grid lines on it, which I love that helps keep things nice and straight. And then you're going to place the transfer tape sticky side down right on top of your design. Use your Cricut scraper and just burnish it by rubbing it on the front and you can flip it over and rub it on the back if you want. This just helps the vinyl stick to the transfer tape and it makes the application a little bit easier. Once you have it burnished on both the front and the back, you're going to carefully remove that paper backing. I find it easiest to keep the paper backing low and remove it in kind of an angled uh, direction. Now you're going to apply the transfer right on your cup. Now I did wipe the cup down with rubbing alcohol before I applied anything and that just removes any oils from your hands or fingers or any sticker residue that's left on your tumblers. But you just want to, I find it easiest to push it, put it down in the middle and then spread it out from the middle outwards. And then I'm just going to use my scraper again. You could just use your fingers if you want, but I find the scraper works just fine. And then you're going to peel that transfer tape off. Now this is where I find it really easy just to keep that transfer tape low and roll it back on itself, just like I'm doing here. I'm keeping it low next to the tumbler and just pulling it straight back. And that's it. You've got your personalized tumbler. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I have had several requests to go back to some of the basics, so I am going to be doing a series of really simple tutorials to show you how to use some of your basic Cricut materials. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget the links are in the description below the video. Bye!